Hi Five Vega back with another how to video. In this video we're going to uh, test three different methods of crimping. I've got a hammer crimp, a hydraulic crimp, and then also I've got a uh, kind of DIY method that I'll be using with a screwdriver and a hammer. So uh, let me get these stripped back and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, the first method I'll be doing is just the uh, hammer and the screwdriver. And what I'm doing here is I'm kind of hammering it down and getting it set in place. That way I have something to work with and it doesn't slip on me. Sorry for the shaky video. Okay, now I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm going to place it right in the middle. And I'm going to try to drive it down in a few spots and crimp it as if it's folding in on itself. And then I'll also repeat this on the other side and I'll do it crossway to try to get the best crimp I can with the hammer method. Now we're on to the uh, hammer crimp method and uh, what I'll do here is I've already got my lug set up and I've got the wire in. I just line it up, make sure I get that extra wire out. And now the spring will hold it in place. So when I hammer it, I just fire away and I really give it a hard whack three or four or five times, make sure I got it nice and crimped. Now we're on to the third method, the hydraulic crimp. I'm using a, a 10 ton crimp. And as you can see, it uses uh, two dies to smash the lug and the wire together essentially into one piece. Now, as you notice, I'm just pumping it up, and you'll pump it up until the dies meet each other. In this case, my dies were undersized. I didn't have the exact proper dies uh, to use with these oversized uh, sky-high lugs, so I'm going to get a little bit of winging on the edges, but it's nothing bad at all. Okay, it's time to cut open these lugs and see what they look like on the inside. Obviously, you're going to want to use safety glasses anytime you're handling an angle grinder. Let's start with the uh, screwdriver and hammer method, see how that held up. Now as I'm cutting into this, I'm going to take a couple thin passes so I can see what the wire looked like in between the layers. Okay, now we're on to the uh, hammer crimp method, and uh, it's just rinse and repeat, same thing. So I got a lot more resistance when I was cutting this piece. Now whether that adds up to a uh, more solid connection or not, we'll see. Last but not least, the hydraulic crimp. Let's cut this up. Now, I definitely got more resistance cutting this piece. It almost acted like one solid lug. So, uh, it made me readjust, and I want to take one more layer off and see what it looked like. Obviously this one is much more difficult to cut and as you can see I really have to work it here to get that second layer off. Okay, I'm going to give you a look at them here. The first one is the uh, hammer and screwdriver method. Let's see if I can get that camera to focus here. And the second one would be the uh, hammer crimp method with the actual tool you could tell by the uh, v shape that it has now, i had a hard time getting the camera to focus but 
we'll see what we can do. Now the third one, it's kind of mangled up. That's the hydraulic method. And that's the one I didn't really get a clean cut on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these three pieces and I'm gonna try to pull them apart with uh, pliers so you can see how well they held up. Starting with the uh, hammer and screwdriver type. So this one did come apart. Now, I could have hammered more maybe and got it a little bit tighter, but I think you're gonna end up with this result if you use this method in the long run. So now we're going on to the uh, hammer crimp method with the V-shape. I'm gonna clamp both these on and I'll pull as hard as I can, see if I get it pulled off just like the other. All right, so I'm really struggling with this one. I'm cranking on it as hard as I can and it doesn't seem to want to break free. Still connected as you can see. All right, now let's go on to the hydraulic part. We'll do the same thing here. I'll grab them as tight as I can and try to yank them off. This one I'm pulling even harder and I almost pulled the jacket completely off on that one. So it's not going anywhere either. Okay, so I brought them in the house so I get some better lighting and explain to you guys what's going on with these. Now on this one, I was able to pull off the crimped area and then when I cut into the slug, as you can see it didn't smash anything out. That's because it doesn't put enough pressure when you're hammering to spread it out in there so you end up with a hollow lug at the tip. Now on this one, same thing except as you can see it's a pretty decent meld right there I couldn't pull it apart and right here you can see it's it's almost all the way full you know you see a few little gaps but not nothing bad at all and then on this one the one I had the most trouble cutting it is almost a solid piece as you can see right here I had trouble getting it to focus outside, but. So this test just included the uh, solid copper lugs. And I'm going to go from worst to best here. And the worst to me was the uh, hammer and screwdriver method. And then the good method, which would be the hammer crimp. And then finally the best method, in my opinion, which would be the hydraulic crimp. Now the hammer crimp, there's, it's absolutely good method, great method to use. But uh, if you want just that little bit of extra, I'd say go with the hydraulic crimp. But either one of them are perfectly acceptable in my experience. Uh, now the hammer and screwdriver method, it's not so uh, great. But, I mean, I've done it in the past. I mean, it can be done. It works. So I'll leave that choice up to you. As always, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I've got other uh, how-to videos. I've got some Amp Dino videos and even a couple of History of videos. If you'd like to see stuff early, check me out at uh, facebook.com slash i5vega. Until next time.